Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Wednesday, June 20, 2018. Here is an update on the 1957 23-foot Lyman runabout. Uh, John will update us on where we are. Uh, I think the last video we covered the installation of the uh, decks and covering boards, etc. But as you can see, the process of installing, of fabricating and installing ceilings, mahogany ceilings, has begun. Take it away, John. Well, after we installed the engine and we put the frames in that support the flooring, uh, we got started on the ceilings. Like Mike said, this boat didn't have the ceilings in it before, and uh, we're putting in mahogany ceilings in the boat. As it is, last night, RJ and I worked in the middle of the night, um, putting the first four boards on each side. And as it is now, there's this frame member that holds the seat frames. And this frame member has to come out because we got to put the ceilings behind it and then the board back over it so we still have the full thickness to support our seat frames on. If we run the ceilings down to it and then continue the ceilings underneath it, we lose uh, 5 sixteenths of an inch. and that's quite a bit of support when uh, seats are just seat frames are just sitting on this board. Well, and also some of our ceilings would be different thickness than others. Right. Uh, width, excuse me, width. They're all the same thickness, three eighths of an inch. Yeah. And why are we putting the ceilings in before the seating? Um, we're putting the ceilings in because we're going to fabricate a custom front seat area with cabinets and. Uh, we have to have the ceilings in in order for me to mock up the seats in the uh, cabinetry. And we're also putting jump seats back here in the aft end, if I remember correctly. Yes, we are. We got some really nice brackets. Um, not sure where you got the brackets from, but really nice brackets to support. Uh, very nice bench seats. Yep. So. John and RJ will continue fabricating and installing ceilings. Uh, the, before they can do so though, the, the two, I'll call them seat rails, seat support rails, must be released. Uh, there must be some very careful measurements made because um, once the ceilings are installed behind the seat rails, uh, it'll be impossible to find the original holes. Uh, so we will measure from the previous ceiling plank down to the hole beneath it that supports the uh, seating rail. And we use our ever-present blue tape and mark each one and that will allow us uh, with some careful measuring to uh, Install, reinstall the ceiling rails per, exactly where they must be. Uh, but before we do so, of course, since all of this is going to be finished bright, uh, the rails must be finished, must be stripped, sanded, bleached, and finished bright as well. So that is our update on the 1957 23 foot. Lyman runabout with her engine. Whoop, there goes the seat rail. John doesn't mess around. With her M47 Chrysler Flathead 6 that has been completely rebuilt and restored by Robert Henkel, Peter Henkel Incorporated, Marine City, Michigan. You're going to ask, why is it this green color? Well, Robert is a, a bit of a bibliophile, and he spent a good amount of time researching the original, the OEM paint color for this engine when it was installed in this particular model of Lyman in the second half of the 50s. So that's where we are on June 20, 2018. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.